Hey, good day. God bless you. Welcome to the Daily Reminder. I want to share a verse with you out of uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 27. And again, this is just a great example. We know that the Word of God is to teach us, it's to instruct us, it's to bring truth to our lives. And so I just want to remind you of something that you do know. Let me read this short verse to you about one of the kings of Judah, Jotham by name. And uh, this verse just really caught me in my own devotional time. It just says, so Jotham became mighty, and he became mighty because he prepared his way before the Lord his God. All of us have a race to run. All of us have a path that the Lord has set us on. And the Bible teaches us that this king became mighty because his way was set and prepared properly before the Lord. Let me remind you of this. It's, the words are the same, but you find it twice in Proverbs. Once in Proverbs 14, verse 12, and again in Proverbs 16, verse 25. And it just says, there's a way that seems right unto a man but in the end thereof is the way of death. That word right there, literally in the Hebrew language, is the word convenient. So without stretching this, you can, just, you can read it this way, you can look at it this way. There's a way that seems convenient unto a man, but in the end thereof is the way of death. There's very little convenient about serving Jesus. There's very little convenient, uh, very little that is convenient about walking with him. And yet God really wants a people to walk a path, a narrow road, that he has called us into. One of the words in this verse that I love is the word prepared. He became mighty because he prepared his way before the Lord. When you look at the word prepared, just a couple Hebrew definitions, it means steadfast, it means established, it means faithful. It means this, it means he allowed the Lord to bring his path, his way into God's order for his life. The main idea really of the word in the Hebrew language is to bring something into incontrovertible existence. The word incontrovertible will be incontrovertible means not open to question it is indisputable god wants you and i to walk a road walk a path where we don't leave room for question there's no room to dispute we have said for years this is the way we believe christians are to live and yet a lot of times we end up living this way and so there is room for question there is room for those that have yet to come to jesus there's room for them to wonder about our lives god really wants to narrow this chasm between what we say we believe and how we actually live our lives he wants to narrow that chasm so that what we say we believe and how we say we're supposed to live we're doing it we're allowing the holy spirit to continue to sanctify us and to continue to conform us into the image of jesus christ one more time he became mighty because his way honored the Lord. He prepared his way before the Lord. God bless you. We pray that this has been a blessing. We'll catch you next time.